Hi everyone and welcome back to Mari's Crochet. Today we're gonna make a bag with t-shirt yarn and we're gonna work with bubble stitch. So I hope you like it. So let's begin. So our material we're gonna need six millimeters crochet hook. We're gonna need two stitch markers, metal rings that opens like this, a chain, um, a scissors, a pair of scissors, t-shirt yarn, and also a lock. I'm using this one. So let's start our bag. So I'm gonna leave in the description box how you do the base of the bag. I have another video where you can do it and you will find it in the description box. Now let's take our crochet hook and our yarn and let's start to make our bag. So as you can see we're gonna work into these stitches here. It's a little bit hard the first row but then will be much easier because this t-shirt yarn is always hard to work. So you're gonna insert the hook into the stitch here and you're gonna bring your yarn and you're gonna chain one. This is our first stitch. And now we're gonna work one single crochet in every stitch. As I told you, it's a little bit hard. So we're gonna hide also this thread. Again, we're gonna go into the next stitch and we're gonna do a single crochet. Again, we're gonna go into the next one and work a single crochet. So you're gonna continue like this until the end. So I come to the end and this is how it looks. And now we're gonna close it. We're gonna take out our crochet hook. We're gonna skip the first stitch. We're gonna go into the second from the back. Bring the yarn over like this. And then you're gonna go into the first stitch. We're gonna work into the V. I think I had so many other uh, tutorials so you can see. it. And we're gonna chain one and this will be our first stitch. So from now on we're gonna work into the V stitch. As you can see, we're gonna insert the hook there, there. So now we're gonna continue. Single crochet in every stitch, again until the end of the row. The bag is very simple and I think you're gonna like it. So we're gonna continue like this until the end of the row, single crochet in every stitch. So again I'm the end of the row and we're gonna close it into the same way. Skip one, go into the next from the back, bring the yarn over, pull the thread and then you're gonna go into the skip it stitch but you need to pull the thread good so you're gonna go into the first stitch the stitch that we skip it and we're gonna bring our yarn then we're gonna chain one and this will be our first stitch so this is the way that we're gonna work for 13 rows so you're gonna keep continuing to the same way until you have 13 rows so guys, I finished our 13 rows and this is how it looks. If you want to make it bigger, you can continue with the rows. I want I don't want to make it so big. So this is how it looks. And now we're going to cut our yarn. And now we're going to try to hide the thread in a way that you're not going to see it. So what we're going to do we're gonna skip the first, go into the second from the back, pull the yarn. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the last stitch that we work from behind on the back. We're gonna insert the hook in both loops. Let me turn it so you can see better. So we're gonna insert the hook like this, then you're gonna bring your yarn 
you want to pull it through the stitch and we did another stitch and also you cannot see it so this is the way that I close it if you know another way you can do it then you're gonna hide the thread now we're gonna make a we're gonna take our metal rings and we're gonna uh, put, uh, push it like this you're gonna push like this the bag on the sides and then you're gonna put your metal ring so guys you're gonna try to take two loops uh, two stitches from one part and the other and this is how it looks so we close this first part now we're gonna go into the second we're gonna push it like this you can try to make it as even as you can Again, we're going to take our metal ring and we're going to take one stitch on this side, one stitch on the other side. Okay, so now it's ready and this is how it looks. Now guys, we're going to take our stitch marker. So we're going to leave one stitch after the metal ring and then you're going to put your stitch marker. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side you're gonna leave one stitch and you're gonna put a stitch marker we need to have a total of 15 stitches so now we're gonna take our crochet hook and the yarn we're gonna take out the stitch marker we're gonna insert a hook there and we're gonna chain one and this will be our first stitch Now we're going to start to make a bubble stitch, so we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, we have three loops, we're going to pull through two loops, yarn over again, go into the same stitch, we're going to pull through two loops, we have three loops on the hook, again we yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull through two loops and now we have four loops on the hook we're gonna yarn and we're gonna pull through all four loops and our first bubble is ready we're gonna go into the next stitch we're gonna do a single crochet and then you're gonna try to arrange your bubble because it's t-shirt yarn it doesn't stay good so we're gonna pull the yarn like this and this is our first bubble we're gonna do one more single crochet and into the next stitch as you can see it's a little bit hard into the next stitch we're gonna do another bubble stitch again yarn over go into the next stitch pull through two loops yarn over go into the same stitch pull through two loops again yarn over go into the same stitch and you're gonna pull through two loops then we have four loops on the hook we're gonna pull through all four so this is our second bubble again two single crochet one but we need to arrange our bubble stitch again we're gonna do another single crochet And again we're gonna make a bubble stitch yarn over go into the next stitch pull through two loops yarn over go into the next one pull through two loops yarn over go into the same stitch pull through two loops and we have four loops on the hook we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all four and we're gonna arrange our bubble 
and then we're gonna do two single crochet one and we're gonna make another one so we have three bubble stitch we need to have five and at the end you're gonna go we're gonna finish with one single crochet So guys, our five bubbles are ready. Now we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn the work, and we're gonna work one single crochet in every stitch until the end. That means that we're gonna have 15 single crochet. So one, two, three. So we're gonna continue like this until we have 15 single crochet. So once you finish the row with single crochet, now we're going to start a new row of bubble stitches. As you can see, I'm trying to arrange it. Now we're going to do bubbles in, in between this bubble, so we're going to have four bubble stitch. So we're going to chain one, and to the same stitch we're going to do one single crochet. We're going to work two more single crochet, one and another one. Then we're gonna do a bubble stitch. And so we do this, so the bubble stitch will be in between the previous bubble stitches. So pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. We have four loops on the hook, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all four. Then again, we're gonna do two single crochet, one, and two, then again we're going to do a bubble stitch. As you can see we have a bubble in between these two bubble stitches. Again into the next stitch we're going to do a bubble stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. We all make it in one stitch, okay, so don't forget. So. We're going to pull through all four loops, and then we're going to do two single crochet, one and two. Again, we're going to do a bubble stitch into the next stitch. Pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and another two loops. We need to have four loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through four loops. Then we're gonna do two single crochet, one and two. And we're gonna make our last bubble stitch into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. As you can see guys, your t-shirt yarn is very hard to work with. So pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we have four loops on the hook, we're going to pull through all four. And we have two more stitches, we're going to finish with two single crochet. One, arrange a little bit your bubbles and do the last single crochet. So once you have this row finished, you're going to chain one, you're going to turn the work, and you're going to work uh, the row of single crochet, 15 single crochet, one single crochet in every stitch. The next row we will have five bubbles, the next one you will have four bubbles, and so and so. So I finished the row with single crochet, now we're going to start to make the row with five bubbles. We're going to chain one into the same stitch, we're going to work one single crochet, then into the next stitch we're going to do a bubble. 
pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. We have four loops on the hook. And we're gonna pull through all four and we're gonna close our bubble stitch. Then we're gonna work two single crochet. So guys, I think you understand what you should do. So you're gonna do one row with uh, five bubbles, then you're gonna do one row of single crochet, then you're gonna do a row of four bubbles, and then a row of single crochet, and so and so. You need to work like this for a total of five rows of bubbles. So we have two, we're gonna need to make uh, three more. So this is how it looks after I finish five rows of bubbles, one, two, three, four, five. Then I did a, sing a row of single crochet. And then you're gonna work one more row of single crochet. So you're gonna chain one, you're gonna turn your work, and you're gonna work a single crochet in every stitch until the end. Again, a total of 15 stitches. So guys, now we're gonna bring our lock. We're gonna put first the upper part, and we're gonna skip two bubbles in between the third and the fourth. You're gonna you're gonna put the upper part of the lock. I don't know how to call it. You know, guys, my English is not so good, but I'm trying my best. So now you're gonna put this, and you're gonna push it with all your strength, and this is how it looks. Then you should fix also the part that goes uh, in the middle of the bag. This lock has three small legs and you're going to push it very hard. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to push the legs down or up. Depends how the legs are. I think here it's good. So now I'm going to try to push the legs. I don't know if you can see it. So take your crochet hook and push it. I'm going to push it down, as you can see. Also on the other side. And I have one more down. Let me see how I... I'm going to push it up this time. Yeah, I think now it's ready. Let me arrange it a little bit. Yeah, so now I'm going to close it and let's see how it looks. I think it's very cute. So guys, I'm going to put our chain and we're gonna go where we have the metal rings we're gonna push it a little bit and you're gonna put the chain inside you also can make a crochet strap if you want but i prefer chains yeah we're gonna take also the other part and we're gonna pull it we're gonna put it in the metal ring again and yeah our bag is ready So guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to see each other on the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and be safe. Bye-bye.